Hello and welcome to a brand spanking new flight simulator video. Right, I've been doing a few little practice videos, um, practicing a few little things. This is really, I've had Microsoft Flight Simulator now for a couple of months. Um, I used to do videos in Flight Simulator X, Flight Simulator 2004, um, and since I've now got the new Flight Simulator here on a purpose-bought computer, uh, or purpose-built computer, um, I have a tower now that's just set up solely for Flight Simulator and uh, for DCS. So, first video. And I thought I'd start off with a legendary aircraft. The De Havilland Tiger Moth by Ant Simulation, I do believe it's called. Um, and it is probably one of the greatest renditions of the Tiger Moth um, that has been released in Flight Simulator. It actually came out originally, I do believe, in FSX. I don't think it was out in FS2004. Uh, but I had, for, had it for FSX, and it was thoroughly brilliant. And if you like your light aircraft, your light aviation, with a little bit of, you know, warbird-ish-ness inside it, the Tiger Moth is a brilliant choice for you. So, where are we? Well, we are at Imperial War Museum Duxford, um, the home of the warbird in the UK. And our flight today will be taxiing out to the right and heading to the grass strip, which will be runway 24. Uh, we'll be taking a small flight around Duxford and around the local area, and we'll be uh, hopefully landing um, again on runway 24 on the grass, grass even. I'll try saying that fast. So basically we're going to be turning out to the right here, trying to avoid any of the vehicles. And yes, our grass strip is over there somewhere, so we're going to be taxiing out in front of a little warbirds. So let's get this aircraft up and running. So we'll just check that the mags are on. The mags are on. The mag switches are actually on the outside of the aircraft. It's an odd place for them, but that's where they are. So check all the controls are free. All controls are free. So, check the front is clear of any people. And we'll just give a clear pop. Set of RPM up to about a thousand. There we go. And we shall set our altimeter to the level that we're at. So we're not going to be flying too far. So, let's start our taxi. So, brakes are off. Uh, clear on the left. Clear on the right. I have seen the van up front. I had to keep an eye out for him. Real problem for any tail dragger aircraft, you can't see what's in front of them. So, being that I don't know whether the AI traffic actually responds to the aircraft, I'm going to hop onto the grass and go behind this row of Spitfires and Hurricanes. So I can still see that van going up front there. So Tiger Moth was the RAF uh, premier training aircraft for the start of World War II and during World War II, really. Um, in fact, you would have started off on the Tiger Moth and you would have ended up on aircraft that are to the left here, i.e. Spitfires and Hurricanes. Do believe, of, uh, do believe as well, you would have also trained on the uh, venerable Harvard, or as the Americans call it, the Texan. A little bit more advanced than the Tiger Moth. Well, in all fairness, most things are more advanced than the Tiger Moth. So yeah, there's the Spitfire, and there's the Hurricanes. So our grass runway is just to our right. So what we're going to do, we're going to swing the aircraft around. We don't need much of a grass strip, or any runway really, to get the Tiger Moth into the air. 
it's very hard to actually see the taxi uh, sorry the the runway um, when you're actually on the grass but we know that it's going to be it's going to be in front of us so sat before runway 24 and let's see if we can get her in the air Sixty knots and we're airborne. Passing the American Museum. I can't remember what exactly what that's called, but uh, um, we're going to be flying out over the Land Warfare Museum. Bringing the RPM back now to about 1800. We don't need to be going too fast as we start our climb. Certainly a beautiful day for a flight in Tiger Moth. Currently going over the motorway. Always a very interesting sight when you're on the motorway and you've got aircraft coming in to land at Duxford. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a pass over Duxford to give you a proper look at the scenery here. Slight bit of buffeting, which is to be expected. This aircraft doesn't weigh a lot. So keeping Duxford firmly in sight. I'm going to bring the speed down a little bit and bring our altitude down a little bit as well. Just 
It's currently flying at just shy of 90 miles an hour, dropping down for about 80. And a slight descent. And over the motorway we go. And just passing underneath our right wing is the restoration hangars. Can't remember the company that actually works there, but they do a lot of good work for restoring warbirds. Got the British Museum there. A very accurate rendition of Duxford. It's completely free as well. Uh, the scenery that is, that is. So powering up. We're going to make our preparations for landing onto runway 24 on the grass. Always the most interesting part of any flight. Always, like I say, the most interesting part of any flight is coming back into land. And the Tiger Moth is always an interesting aircraft to try and land. So keeping an eye on where the grass strip is. And we're going to be coming in over the motorway, over a taxiway and hopefully dropping in onto the grass strip. Speed coming down to about 70 mile an hour. Wings level. Bit of back stick. Here's the grass strip markings. Waiting for the grass. And we're down. Slight bit of rudder correction. There we go. Pretty much where I wanted to land. Still on the grass strip because there's the markings for it. So we're turning out to the right. And we're going to head in front of these turboprops. Very odd aircraft to see at Duxford, I must admit. They're not part of the scenery package. Uh, they are the flight simulator's idea of AI aircraft.
So whilst we taxi in, um, I will be saying that hopefully I will be creating more videos. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be getting down to creating them. It's obviously in and around my work time. Um, but we will be flying another de Havilland aircraft. Uh, that was used by the Royal Air Force for training and that was the Chipmunk. So we're going up a few years. But yes, so we'll be like say flying the chipmunk. We'll be trying to make these as semi-realistic as we possibly can. Obviously, you know, I'm not a pilot. I am an aviation fan, but I am certainly not a pilot. So just clearing the whatever that is supposed to be. And we can start our turn the brakes on too much. Not the best parking, but uh, we're back. Brilliant sounds. Absolutely brilliant. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little flight around Duxford. I will be flying a lot more aircraft, like I say, in the future. Um, not just restricted du to Duxford. Uh, we're flying all sorts of airports and airfields in the future. So, I hope you like this video. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, please ping them below and I will quite happily answer them. So, I shall see you lot in the future.